definitely i feel that the human declaration of um, human rights should include digital rights a lot of our lives are spent or is spent on the internet and a lot of every every year every day more and more people are coming online and they're choosing to live their a large part of their lives on the internet all of us do jobs on the internet all of us um, communicate with our loved ones over the internet so we have to make sure that it's 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 a healthy and safe space and um, new people who are very diverse from um, traditionally who people who have gotten access to the internet are interacting with such technologies and we have to make sure that th their human rights are not violated so having said that um, what what i feel is we've seen a balkanization of the internet right now which which goes to the ethos of the internet being open the open web the open internet um whatever has come out of the internet is because it's boundaryless it's it's nationless and it's it's a global a glo glo global promise and we've seen the benefits and the positives coming out of that i feel that this balkanization process where various countries are trying to regulate um the internet in, on their own terms uh, is something which destroys the basic philosophy of the internet and the global global population and the glo global policy makers and policy experts um in spaces like the IGF need to come together have a dialogue understand each other's issues because issues issues in countries like the US and issues in countries like Brazil and India are very different the internet needs to be a healthy space for everyone so i feel that um, all all experts taking voices from the people should come on such panels come on such um, forums and uh, discuss and 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 eventually come out with solutions which serve the entire population of the world